if this really is the magical month of June that we were all kind of joking about and hoping for, really, then by all means, let's have at it. Let's see the Phillies over 500 by the end of this month. Let's see the Phillies really turning some heads. Let's see Trey Turner look like a guy that actually was uh, worth $300 million that the Phillies signed him to. Let's see Aaron Nola return to uh, ace status. And while we're at it, why not Zach Wheeler as well? Because I know I've said it about individual players. But I know there's a better brand of baseball in this entire Phillies roster than what we have seen to this point. And Rob Thompson, you beautiful SOB, you. If you have rediscovered, or if you have discovered, let's just say this, if you have discovered a way for the 2023 Phillies to be like the 2022 Phillies, by putting Kyle Schwarber back at the top of the order, oh, that's obvious. Yeah, he went to a World Series with him leading the way. Okay, fine. But he seems like he's seen a lot more pitches. Seems like he's walking a lot more. His on-base percentage is going up in his last couple of games as a leadoff guy. So it's work. But Nick Castellanos is your two-hole hitter. Not even Bryson Stott. And Trey Turner as your cleanup hitter. Hold on a second there, Robbie T. You mean to tell me that you went into your office and you, you got the Bunsen burners going, right? You had the the, 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 the lab, right? You had all the, the bubbles, the whatever, going across the thing. You have the lab code on, and you're thinking, how can I possibly make this lineup work? And he's tinkering with things, and things are blowing up in his face, and he comes out, and he goes, Eureka, I've got it! I'm going to take my worst possible hitter, and I'm going to take him and put him in the most clutch spot imaginable. I'm going to put him as a cleanup hitter. What? That's insane. Were all the other coaches like, what are you, nuts? What are you, that's, you can't do that. Was Dave Dombrowski running down? They'd be like, no, Trey Turner's been terrible. Don't put him in the cleanup spot. And Rob Thomas was like, in his typical Canadian way, well, I just think it's going to work. I just think if I put him there, it's going to be great. If I just put, if I just take the guy that's not really performing and put him in and ask him to do the most, then maybe that'll be too much for him and he'll overload and reset back to his rebooting all-star status and Captain America of the World Baseball Classic. Yeah, sure, whatever, it worked. <laughs> it's, it's at least working right now. I, uh, I I told you, and I said at the beginning of the show, I hate it. I, it doesn't make any sense. But baseball sometimes is at its best, but it doesn't make any damn sense. And this doesn't make any sense. Trey Turner was a 240 hitter. And all of a sudden, he's got a four-hit game for you, batting out of the cleanup spot. Oh, and he also had an RBI double the other day in the cleanup spot as well. So it's like it's worked.